Today I'm doing one of my most requested renovations in The Sims 4. I'm gonna give you a clue. We're renovating a house into six apartments to get ready for The Sims 4 for rent. The original house is in Willow Creek and so many of you guys have been asking me to turn it into an apartment building. So comment down below which house you think it is before we get started. Cause I have a feeling a lot of you guys will guess it. Okay, I'll just give you a second to comment. Okay, let's jump into it. I'm not sure if you guessed right, but it is the Spencer Kim Lewis household over here in the Sage Estates. This house came with base game and it is such a bizarre home because of the fact it really does look like it's meant to be an apartment building. It's like three stories high. It's got these huge wall heights and really high ceilings. It just looks like an apartment block. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised that you guys really want this as an apartment building. In case any of you guys don't know, the Sims 4 for rent, 4 for 4 for rent, will allow us to turn one lot into up to six homes. So you'll be able to have like up to six families living on the one lot. I'm also looking forward to putting a pool in here because I feel like when the Sims for first was being made. They probably wanted a pool here, but maybe they didn't make it in time. A lot of you guys probably don't know that pools didn't ship with The Sims 4. It came out a year or so later, I think. So this was definitely always meant to be a pool and we're definitely gonna turn it into a pool. And in terms of the actual building structure inside, like I said, there's three levels. There's some really tricky corners over on this side where these windows are. That's going to prove to be a little bit of a challenge. And there's just so much space, even to hold six apartments over three levels. I feel like this needs to be an apartment block for like eight or 10 homes. One thing I really dislike is this staircase just because it has no support underneath it and I just feel like it looks really fake in the game. I think we should keep the exterior colors. The green and the blue, it's a bit of like a Sims for base game iconic look. I feel like it'd be a shame not to use those. So we'll probably keep the exterior colors the same the shape of it, I'll try and keep mostly the same, although I feel like we could add some balconies or something onto this side just to make it look a little less flat and glass-like. But you know what? Even though this house is a bit strange, I kind of love it. I love that we get some weird builds in the game because it just means we can have fun renovating them. So don't stop the weird builds coming, all right? Sims 4 team, if you ever watch this, keep them coming. The weirder, the better. So last night I started uh, deleting all of the furniture in the house. I thought we'd just gut it all and start from scratch again, but keep a lot of the floor plan the same to an extent. I mean, we obviously have to separate it into apartments, um, but keep a lot of the floor plan the same, keep the community garden where it is, the pool garden where it is, and outdoor furniture. I'm just going ahead, deleting a lot of stuff, painting the walls white inside so it's like a clear canvas. I'm getting rid of that staircase because I don't like it. And I actually think it'd look better having an apartment over that second level where there is no flooring, just because it gives us an opportunity to have both upstairs and downstairs apartments. Okay, two story apartments is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so I decided to create a corridor on the upper level and uh, delete this little section. So we do have a double ceiling moment still, but we also have an apartment going over the other side too. So we're gonna have a couple of two story apartments. We've got a pool in the back. Yay, so exciting. Love that, but we'll still have all of those outdoor chairs there. We might add some pool lounges. And I'm also turning one space downstairs that could have been a seventh, seventh apartment into a gym area. Cause I was trying to think what do a lot of apartment buildings have in real life? Many apartment buildings in Australia actually have gyms. Pretty cool. I've never lived in one myself, but um, yeah, why not have a gym there? And it's a great place for Sims to hang out and get to know each other. And then of course the next part was actually creating the floor plans in each of the units. So this is just showing you guys one of the apartments I was drawing out the floor plan, just figuring it out. And this one was a little bit tricky because it kind of has a dog leg shape. Um, so I just created a corridor that leads down to a couple of bedrooms there. Then I added a couple of balconies to the outside here and I thought it would be nice to have some pillars or I like to call them battens <laughs> with some greenery over them. I'll be honest, you guys, James came into my office and he was like, it'd really be cool having balconies there with like some privacy battens. And I was like, you know what, James, 
that's a good idea. I'm, I'm gonna do it. So I'm putting in those buttons. And if you guys do end up downloading this, I will put it on the gallery when I'm finished. My username is Deligracy. I won't use any custom content this time. I kind of switch between using custom content and no custom content. Um, so if you're on console, it'll be an easy download, hopefully. And uh, yeah, you can delete those if you want or change it up. Just have fun with it. So this was the original house. And on the count of three, I'll show you what I've done so far. One, two, hey, what do you guys think? I mean, it's very similar, but it's also been definitely updated. Over here, there's actually a private courtyard for one of their homes. And yeah, I think these balconies look pretty cool. This is what the other side originally looked like. I haven't finished the balconies yet, but this is what it looks like now. You know, it's still pretty similar, but we have the additional balconies there and just a little bit more detailing on the side. And I also added some rounded balconies over here on this side too. Uh, and that was actually also James's idea. We were li literally in my office at 2 a.m. last night discussing this build. Like <laughs> that's how obsessed we get. The entrance is pretty cool. We've got some mailboxes over here. The staircase is just over this way next to the gym area. We'll do a full tour at the end when it's finished. This door leads out to the community area. And this right here is actually a small ground floor apartment that I've already furnished just to get us started. So this is uh, the small studio apartment. I think it would be the smallest apartment in the buildings, which has got one bed. This balcony has greenery and battens over it inspired by our last house actually uh, for privacy. Little microphone, TV area. It's deliberately quite simple because the more objects you put in a build, usually the more it's gonna lag. So I'm just simplifying it a little bit just cause it's so big. Little dining nook, bin, and our kitchen is over here. And of course you need a bathroom. So this is our little bathroom in here. Honestly, I would live here. The other apartment I've gone ahead and furnished is the second ground floor apartment over here, the dark one. This is also a one bedroom apartment, but as you can see, it's way bigger than the first studio apartment we did. But don't worry, don't be too disappointed because we still have another five apartments to furnish across two more levels. This is just placement furniture. So we are nowhere near done, people. You know what, before we get into this, I'm gonna get myself a cup of tea because girl's gonna need it for this one. Got myself a cup of chamomile tea in my favorite Christmas mug. A few of you guys asked where this is from and it's from William Sonoma. James's sisters have the same mug and they said, be careful not to drown the who's because these are little who people around the rim. So if you get the mug, don't fill it up too high. We must protect the who's. Okay, so this one's done, this one's done. Let's jump up to the next level. So this apartment right here, this is the lower level. And this is the top level. And this one has two bedrooms. And simile, or simile? Similarly, 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 this apartment over here is also a two story apartment with one bedroom. Maybe let's do this one first. And I often, like I said, this is placement furniture. I often like to change the flooring in each of the apartments because I feel like it's more fun for me to furnish them. So not, Everyone's exactly the same. But also it's something that I see in real life a lot with apartments in Australia. And it is probably a way for developers and real estate agents to appeal to a broad audience and allow people to kind of find an apartment that they would like to live in, whether they want a darker floor apartment, a darker kitchen, a lighter kitchen. It's so they kind of offer a bit of everything, light flooring and dark flooring. But then I like to keep them looking like they are a part of the same building by making sure even though things may be different colors, at least it's the same type of flooring or the same accent walls or what have you. I really like this rug and I never use it. So you know what, we're gonna use it in this apartment. I just like the colors in it. You'll also see some like sim food over here because I was doing a little bit of player testing to make sure that the fridge underneath this staircase could still be used. So I can confirm it's been player tested. Oh, I do like these couches from the reading nook kit. Is that what was here before? I can't even remember what I had placed here. Let's do this simple couch. We'll put a nice armchair right here. Could have a little pop of orange too. Cause that goes with the green kitchen. I love having these 
tables from the Desert Lux kit and sizing one of them down so they're like a little little set of siblings. Okay, now I'm not liking this chair anymore. Maybe we just do the chair from the Reading Nook kit. You know, I do find myself always using base game items even when I'm doing a build with all the packs. For example, this light is a really good one. Well, maybe we should put that right in the corner like that. And I think this fiddle leaf fig is easily one of my most used items. Okay, let's just move that out past the curtain. It's not ideal having a TV in front of a window, but I think with the curtains, it kind of works out okay. And put a mirror here to brighten up the space. Actually, no, mirror should go over here at the front door. Painting should go over here to brighten up the area because it's very neutral. We can use this painting and it ties in with the green in the kitchen. Perfect. I don't think I'll bother putting curtains on these windows just to reduce lag if you guys do want to download this build. Do we add an extra chair here? I mean, the Sims might be able to sit down, but it's so close to this stove. I'd rather just have three. And do some more green here. I feel like there's so much room in this apartment. Let's pop in another side table here. And I wanna use my favorite plant from the plant kit, love. Out on this balcony, there's just a little balcony barbecue. I was gonna say a balcony queue, barbecue and a seat. And if we jump upstairs, because this is only one bedroom, we have room for a study nook. It'd be a great house for say the professional couple uh, who have chosen not to have kids or don't have kids, whatever. Or a singleton. Get this nice comfy chair up here. And remember these book items, they act as a bookshelf. So that is really handy. I'm gonna size down this rug and change it to the orange swatch just to get a bit of color. Do I wanna put curtains here? No, I think we'll just reserve curtains for like the really important rooms such as bathrooms with a window or the bedrooms. Speaking of which, I don't actually think I have any bathrooms with windows in this build, which I know for some people, that's a big ick factor. But our bathrooms in this apartment don't have windows. They have extractor fans. So there's still air regulation in them or circulation. For the bedroom, we could have a feature wall behind the bed and in the corner. We could repeat this rug again, go for a nice soft blue color. Actually, maybe we can do blue curtains in here too. Actually, no, it's, it's too much. It's not too much. It's only too much for this build because I feel like the whole build is about being a little simple, minimal, clean cut across all the apartments. Oh, these are some tiny, teeny, teeny bedside tables. Nope, don't like those ones. I'm going to suggest we go with a matching, simple, single bedside, bedside table. Actually, if we go over this side, we can move this to the middle and then Sims can get in both sides of the bed. They're a much better option. Creepy clown picture. I was watching uh, Seinfeld. Oh my gosh, some parts of that show has not aged well, but I was watching the clown episode. That, that creeps me out so much, if anyone has seen it. Like, I think it is an anxiety <laughs> trigger. I'm not talking full-blown panic attack, but a little scary. I have to say, I really love these pictures. Actually, I think I want to match the kitchen downstairs more by having a little touch of sage green here and maybe some green in the bed rug, just like that. Do you guys sleep with electric blankets. I feel like it'd be so nice, but I have a couple of fears about it. I'd say these fears are irrational, <laughs> like most of mine are. <laughs> Number one, I'm worried I would become dependent on using an electric blanket. Like I'd get so used to it that I wouldn't be able to sleep without one in the bed being really warm and cozy. That's my first fear. There's just a chair and some planters out here. And then my next fear, fear, is that I'll forget to turn it off or it'll malfunction and like catch on fire while I'm not home. I'm not worried about being in the bed and it catching on fire. I'm worried about like somehow leaving it on. Does anyone else worry about this? I guess we're working our way to the third level. So let's go ahead and do this other one bedroom apartment. So what I had thought about doing here is just having this simple lounge room at these two windows, a dining room at this balcony area, and then a galley kitchen over here and a bedroom. And then the bathroom's already here. This sink color and I like the white. I like it a lot. But let's do some terracotta colored tiles because it, it plays off of this color quite nicely, in my opinion, of course. I need to pop that more into the wall. That's not cutting through. Oh, this is just asking for a chair, isn't it? Wouldn't it be nice if you were playing The Sims 4 
for rent. For for rent. And you come outside of your house and there's just a sim having a sit here. Actually, it'd be kind of weird outside of your door. You might be confused or concerned. But in a way, it would be cute. Let's do the kitchen cupboards on this side. And we want to continue with this tile idea. Like, what does it look like from the inside? Mm, maybe just on the one wall. And then we could potentially have white cabinets up here. I'm really into mixing cabinets. Like at the moment, I find myself putting cabinets from different sets with the counters. I know, I think it's a phase. Okay, that looks pretty good. Oh, the fridge. Forgot the fridge. Well, if we use the Home Chef Hustle fridge, the great thing about this is it fits underneath the cabinet perfectly. We love that. Then you'd probably want a sink near the window and then maybe we do a Home Chef Hustle stuff pack over here. It's a stuff pack, not a kit. I keep calling it a kit just because we only had kits for a long time. And this is the first stuff pack we've had in ages. It's a nice spot for the bin. I'm keeping all the kitchens really plain, like not really putting appliances in there. For the same reason I mentioned before, we don't want too much lag. Maybe we can put this on the wall. Yeah, that's nice. I do really like this couch. We could do a similar furnish to the last place. You know, just some different colors. Because sometimes people buy furnished apartments or apartments are staged. We talk about that a lot on this channel where they put furniture in the apartment in order to sell it. Because sometimes when you look at a house or apartments and they're empty, you're kind of, they don't seem that nice because they don't look very homely. And some people need to have it shown to them what the apartment could look like because they can't uh, picture it themselves. I love this rug. This rug is actually very similar to a rug James has in his office. And when I first saw it for a second, I was like, wait, did they copy his rug? Have they seen his rug in my vlog or something? Of course, I highly doubt that. But it did cross my mind for a second just because it's so similar. Uh, the classic fiddle fig. I feel like an everyday clutter item. Sometimes you just need some everyday clutter in your life because it makes it feel like home. Why did that sound like an advertisement? Honestly, a pretty good advertisement. This table could perhaps have a pendant light going over it. These wall heights are so high though. Are these the highest? They're the second highest. Maybe this slanty light. Actually, no, I like, I like this pendant light. Add a little bit of color in there, which makes me think this spot right here, that's a double height ceiling entrance. This would look nice with um, like a big dramatic light fixture, something like this. Well, maybe this, maybe the dine out one, because it'll look cool through the window. Maybe the green, because we got the this green on the outside, or we do a blue, because there's blue on the outside. Let's do the green. I just realized this balustrade is not painted. We need a pretty warm picture up here with some blue and orange in it to pull in the cushion colors like this. I feel like we don't even need a rug here. And I honestly choose not to have a rug under the dining table because I feel like it would get really grubby with food on it because I am not good at keeping things clean. It's like if you can wear the color white, I think that's fantastic, but I cannot. I just never wear white. This is just riveting realizations isn't it <laughs> but i'm serious you'll never see me in like the color white because i get everything dirty i really wish it wasn't the case but you know what i don't even know how people keep white clothes clean i don't know how you eat and not get food on yourself like i actually don't know how people pull that off. Like it's almost like I need to go to some classes and learn, which I know sounds ridiculous, but it's honestly true. Okay, another apartment done. Play. Okay, so then we have this apartment over here, the very light wood color. Then there's a staircase that goes up this little landing. And then there's two bedrooms, a really big main bedroom and then a smaller second bedroom. Uh, this is the main bathroom for this apartment and then there's an ensuite here which I haven't finished. I often do the bathrooms off camera just because I make them all the same and I just don't really think people want to see the same thing over and over again. So if you're wondering why I never show that, that's why. I was really enjoying the bed we used in the last house so let's reuse that and maybe go for a different color. Go for purple. Put in these green side tables and maybe we can do a nice light green wall in here. Oh, that's pretty. So this is our pastel looking apartment. I just realized I'm doing the down, the upstairs before the downstairs, which is kind of backwards to what I usually do. I have been using these lamps 
non-stop recently. Put these little pictures above the bed because there's nothing more fitting for a pastel bedroom than using the pastel pop kit. Am I right? Does this have a desk area downstairs? It does. So we probably don't need, I mean, you could have two desks, I suppose, in a house. <gasps> Love this, because it matches the wall perfectly. Now bathroom in there, so that's good. And yeah, it's got this really cool view out the window. That, that is a really quite a stunning apartment in many ways. Oh, and then they've got their little balcony on the side here too. Pop those across there and maybe another one across here. Got a little telescope out here. Very cute. And then do we want to put a desk here? Well, maybe just like a couch looking out. Oh, it's such a pretty view. I would like to put a couch there, but I I suppose that would be really annoying to like walk all the way around. So let's do another desk. They work hard in this household. All of their desks have a little green stack of pots over on this side. I don't use this very often, but it is really cute. And then a bookshelf would probably go better over here, even though that couch is really cute because it matches our color palette pretty perfectly. Yes, this one because we have the right roof height for it. Green to match the rest of the room. Maybe the teal, yes, that's pretty. This is a really nice bedroom. I'm excited to tour this at the end. Okay, and then we'll do this bedroom. Maybe we could do a pinky pastel room in here with some fun wallpaper. And do a wardrobe here. To make a window appear bigger, you can extend the curtains past the window as opposed to like putting it over the window or partially over it. And it kind of expands the whole thing. Put our wardrobe here. Nice big rug. When I was growing up, my mom and dad kind of let me express myself however I wanted to in my bedroom in terms of decorating it, like putting up posters or pictures on my wall. I went through a stage of having some blow up furniture, I think, cause blow up furniture was trending. So I find it really interesting when I see really beautiful curated kids bedrooms. Like clearly the kid hasn't decorated decorated it themselves, their parents might have, or, or a friend or something. It's really beautifully done. And I'm kind of torn, because I'm like, oh wow, that looks so pretty. But I'm also like, oh, I wonder if the kid would have liked to do it themselves. But I imagine it just depends on the family, because everyone's different. But I know as a kid, I probably wouldn't have wanted my mom or dad to decorate my bedroom. I would have been like, no, I want to do it myself. <laughs> Also, I suppose when kids are really, really little, they don't have motor skills to actually decorate a room either. <laughs> so the parent kind of has to. I know this is kind of fuddy duddy, but can we put an egg here? Cause it's cute. Okay, so now that that's done, downstairs should kind of be similar to upstairs in terms of it being very light, very pastel. Let's do a different couch this time because we've used that couch twice and I'm a bit over it now. If we want to do the same rug, let's do the same rug in a different color. Yeah, size it down a little bit. Unfortunately, this was the only spot that the TV made sense going. So there was just going to be a bunch of curtains here. But sometimes your TV, you know, it's not going to, fit on a blank wall. Which you know what? I'm just gonna leave these two windows blank. Oh, ah, deleted it. Have this one full. Just like that. Or do we want to do a little pink? Oh no, because the wood color's off. Actually, uh, do I want to go the green or maybe this one? I think I'll go this one because I was hoping to do a bluish kitchen over here. Okay, now I'm over mismatching the counters and I just want to use this counter. But then that's kind of weird because the rest of the apartments have these ones. If this was a real building, I feel like they would have the same. Because if they had different cabinets for each apartment, oh my God, that would cost so much to build. I actually think this table does fit over here to begin with. I wasn't so sure about that. And I reckon sims can get to it we just need a tiny little something something in the middle of it like this see trusty old base game never fails pop some cute cupcakes on the wall lovely goes with our cute theme because there is a kid living here why don't we turn this into a little play corner whether we put a nice dollhouse here or we could do a craft table and a big toy next to it you know it's just the kitty area the book nook bookshelves are really quite handy for these spots but like you don't know what to put here I'll just do a couple of these some boxes up here books in here make it all look lived in do you think this will fit under the stairs you think you little plants could be happy over here pop you there pop you here oh i love that one it has such pretty leaves and i love that color of brown and i mean who doesn't love this little guy so cute 
little blue piggy. I love these iridescent coffee tables. They're so cool. I don't get to use them that often because they don't suit every build. But this build, this build, they definitely suit. Go to the ombre version of this. There's my ombre at. There we go. We need some kid stuff around the place, like board games. Although I did say I wasn't doing too much clutter, but I'm getting really into this apartment. Okay, maybe we'll just do the coffee and a book there. I feel like we're missing something right here, whether it's a plant or a lamp, maybe a nice leafy green plant. Yeah, that's nice. Have a little wall hook over here and a check yourself mirror. <gasps> oh no, I just realized the placement of this staircase blocks our door a little bit. So it's gonna have to be right in the corner here. Oh no, that's not ideal. I mean, if we moved these doors up, move the staircase over, we could give this bathroom a little shower nook in the corner here, but it's bigger. Oh no, but then the kitchen's smaller. Well, actually it can still work because we still have enough bench space um so it's actually okay everything still fits in but that could have been an absolute crisis Oof. okay now we're up to the last apartment which is this one right here and this is another two bedroom but it's a much easier shape and layout i thought the kitchen fit quite well over in this corner the only thing i'm a little unsure about is if i should put an extra piece of kitchen bench there i mean, actually i quite like that and then how much room do we have on this side? Maybe we can put, oh no, that works. We just have a little hole table. That's all really simple. Then we have some tiling behind here. But we want to go for something a little richer, like a teal. A bit of teal and orange. The apartments are getting more and more experimental as we go on. I feel like it should be the opposite. Like the more tired you get, the less experimental you want to be. We do require a smoke alarm, so let's pop that up there. Okay, so then I had the idea of having just a four-seater dining table over in this section, which, you know, I still think it would work well. We could just do basic chairs and maybe look for a rug with a bit of teal in it to tie it into the kitchen. This is a teal looking rug. It works, it ties in with the rest. And then maybe this couch. What is this couch from? Oh, this is a tiny living one. This is a handy go-to because it actually comes with a matching chair. That we can have, whoa. <laughs> Now that we can have this, you know what? We could go the whole tiny living theme in this house. It's dark in that corner. Why don't we put a lamp here? Or we could go the tiny living lamp to keep us on theme. Ah, oh, look at that. It's a beautiful matching set. It's like they went to the furniture store and bought a bargain set, just everything. Not a bad way to go about it. I'm happy with everything except this coffee table. This seems nice. Ooh, or maybe this one. Oh wow, I did not know this came with wood tones. Huh, that's very cool. Just have a bit of grounding black here. Little sneaky side table over on this one. Or maybe let's just do the gray couches to tie in with the black there. And then we've still got lots of bursts of color. And then we can have a painting on the wall with hopefully a bit of orange in it. Well, this is great because it includes the orange and the teal that we have in the apartment. The only thing I'm not mad about is the actual frame color because it's a darker timber. It'd be better in probably black or white, but that's okay. I think these lights even have a teal version. Yeah, they do. Teal's the theme of this house, it seems. There are a lot of chairs here, so I'm kind of thinking like, maybe we get rid of the bar stools because there's just too many chairs. But don't worry, because we can still have the exact same orange color with the matching trendy chairs that we can just use as dining chairs. So all is not lost. It still looks fabulous. And the other thing we could do is the little bar stool trick where you just place an extra bar stool on an angle. So the Sims won't be able to use it, but it just makes the house look a little bit more lived in. You know, it's kind of cool. Oh, I forgot we still have all of these balconies to do as well. Cause they're gonna need some kind of, maybe the, these can just have matching pillars to the original ones in this house. We can just pop them up here like this. Otherwise then there might be too many battens if we copy what we already did on the other balconies. Yeah, that looks cool. They also have a little area to sit over here. And then we've just got these two bedrooms. Let's do a soft blue gray bedroom in here. We have some yellow. This room can be really simple. I just realized this apartment doesn't have a spot for a study. If we put this little wardrobe at the end of the bed, we could probably fit in a study desk right here. Because where possible, I think it's very handy having a computer when you play Sims. Otherwise, you have to take them to the library and you might run into Miss Crumplebottom who hits you over the head with a handbag. 
It's just a whole thing. Let's do a bunk bed in this room. <gasps> With the dinosaurs. I really love that one. Can you even do the matching rug? If I ever had kids, the problem would be that I would probably want to design their bedrooms. <laughs> Can have this cool computer. This is a really nice desk. I think this came from growing together. Yeah, just pop some toy boxes over here. All right, I think we're done. Well, everyone, we have done it. Welcome to the new and improved Spencer Kim Lewis house. They have moved out. Actually, they're technically still living here, but it's now been bought and developed into six apartments that we'll be able to move into and have full functionality uh, with The Sims 4 for rent, which is a really exciting thing. I just realized this wall should be blue over here, I think. Oh, do we want to do like the green? Oh my, no, 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 no. So this is the side. We've still got the same shape apart from the, the added balconies. We've got a pool. Heck yeah. And it's really quiet. Quite the development. Okay, this is gonna be a big tour. Get yourselves ready. Oh my gosh, it really is enormous from this angle. Okay, so let's go through the front door. Here's our foyer. We've got mailboxes, very spacious. To the left, there is a gym. Lovely, spacious gym for you to use at your leisure. And don't worry, you don't have to walk up all the stairs to get to a bathroom because there's one in here. You also might have noticed in the foyer this door and in here, here is a sneaky little bin room because most apartments would have a bin room. Well, at least every apartment I've lived in. Over here is apartment one, the smallest. This is our little studio apartment. I really like this one. I really like the irregular wall shape and I like that everything has a home. I like the bike outside on the patio and down here is the kitchen the bathroom and a little dining spot. There's just a close up of the kitchen and the bathrooms are all pretty much the same. Back into the foyer, if we go out this door, we have our community area, as I like to call it the community area. I think it's because my sister started saying community as community community that we started saying community and like charity as charity. <laughs> I don't know, it just stuck. It's just a bit silly, but this is quite extravagant. It's actually, like all of the same stuff out here. I just changed the swatches. And then over this side, we have a little private garden. Why is this light in my wall? So I need to fix that wall trim. Okay, now I'm happy. Go through here. And this is the private courtyard of another apartment, which you can also access through the foyer. They have the hanging plants that I never use. This apartment's really minimal. I like minimal apartments because then you can decorate them like a blank canvas, I guess. But then again, when you get an apartment with heaps of character that is opposite to minimal, you can have fun with decorating too, so. I don't know what I meant by that. This apartment's a bit more minimal. Let me know what you guys, like one thing I always love to ask in these apartment tours is which apartment you would like to live in. I just find it so interesting to see which is the most popular or if it's fairly even Stevens. Um, but yeah, in there's the bathroom. Again, it basically looks like all the other ones. Desk area, a lovely spacious lounge room, a keyboard. Yeah, that's pretty nice. This one's actually really nice because it's like removed from the rest of the building. It has access to the garden out here. It's ground floor, it has another courtyard, and then it's got this pretty spacious bedroom as well. So I feel like this one, might be up there for me, but the interior is not my favorite. Oh, and they also have a second bathroom. Oh, actually, I kind of do like the interior. Anyway, let's go back out into the foyer. Hello, familiar foyer. And we begin the ascend. I wish we had lifts in the game. Like, I wonder why we don't have lifts. I feel like they missed the opportunity to add them in city living. And maybe like it's too far gone now. Sorry, I just have to put some wood on that wall. And now we may never get them. Them. Okay, so this apartment, oh, this is our pastel one. So this is two story, very cool. We've got the little play area for any of you pastel lovers. This might be your favorite one. Got a lovely big window here, a teeny tiny little deck, although it is very cute. And then we've got this kitchen area, dining. It is quite a nice living space. Then we go up more stairs and we have this very little egg landing, sunny side up. Oh. And then we have the kids room here with, what do I happen with that wallpaper? I'm gonna change that and fix it. And that's the other side, beautiful view. And then across, this is a really big main bedroom and they have an ensuite. I think the colors are really nice. The view is really nice. Like that would be so pretty in real life. They have another little balcony. The bathroom's in here. Oh, they actually have a window in their bathroom. A nice bedroom. And it's so hard to get my camera in here, but there's the bathroom 
just in this section. Wait, now the wallpaper's fixed again. It's playing games with me. So if we go back downstairs and out the door again, we can look down to the first level. So this is a nice interior section of the building and then across through here. This is just our one bedroom, simple apartment, galley kitchen. Maybe I'd like this one because they have like a nice big balcony here. I feel like there's perks to a lot of these apartments and this has windows on both sides. So you'd get the sun changing throughout the day, which is nice, nice little lounge room. I also like I like how this one's furnished in the bookshelf. The bedroom's pretty small and it looks out onto the roof, but it's okay. And then the bathroom's over here. So you can toot, toot in the bathroom. Oh, and they have a window too. Okay, some of the bathrooms do have windows. <laughs> yeah, I quite like this one. Then we walk out again, go to the left, and we've got our other two-story apartment. So this one, we return to darker flooring if you're into that. We've got the irregular sides of the building, which is fun. Nice lounge room. I quite like this one, it has a pretty balcony. The colors are probably a little bit darker for my preference, but it's nice. Got some good light and windows. And upstairs, we have the landing with a gorgeous view and office. I feel like this is a bit of a waste of the amazing view here, because it's just a landing, but I couldn't figure out really how to make the floor plan pop and make the most of that window unless it was all open plan up here which you could change it to otherwise the bedroom's just in here the wardrobe over there and then it's got a lovely open balcony on the third floor we have our final apartment so let's go in and this is our teal apartment that we just did this is more rectangular nice big windows pretty strict like color theme in here with the teal and the orange and the white uh, and a hint of black lovely big balcony Toilets, gorgeous. Then we have two bedrooms. We have our main bedroom in here with the desk squeezed in. So the bedrooms aren't as generous, but it does have a stunner of a view. And then our dinosaur kids bedroom, which is so awesome. Lovely view as well. And then just some toys and a wardrobe in the corner. Very sweet. And oh my gosh, we did it. We did the renovation and it's done and you can download it my username is deligracy thanks so much for watching this video you guys check out the build on the gallery if you'd like to support the channel you can become a member the link is in the description down below and that means you get access to bonus behind the scenes videos each week emotes to use in comments and in live streams plus more updates behind the scenes as well if I'm not posting for a bit or I need to update you guys on anything. So yeah, you can check that out. As always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. Oh my gosh, and thank you so much to my members. You guys are legends. Thank you for your support. And I can't wait to speak to y'all soon. Dag-dag!